Dang it. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. First things first, an injury update. My wrist is doing better. Um, it's still a little swollen, but it's gone down significantly. I have better range of motion, so I have a feeling the wrist brace is coming off soon. Thank God, because it's been a month. Um, so today we're going to take it easy. We're going to do a quick little project, nothing hardcore. Uh, we're just going to try to get the water and condensation out of this headlight lens. I don't know what happened. I'm not exactly sure how the water got in there in the first place, especially since the other headlight isn't like that. I'm guessing just condensation on a really humid day or perhaps the rain soaked in. Uh, the water must have dripped in somehow behind this headlight door and then back into this lens. So we're going to take this out, dry it up, seal it, and put it back together because I have to go out tonight and driving with a headlight like this is embarrassing. So we're going to pull this headlight out. We're going to take off the grill. We're going to take out the headlight door. The headlight should pop right out. And then we'll empty the sucker. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, getting into this headlight is no biggie. Uh, we're just going to take off this headlight door. I've done it a hundred times with you guys already, uh, but this, this bit helps. It's like a long extension for uh, an impact driver and it gets in here nice and easy. And you can reach these bolts, bolts. <laughs> you can reach these screws, these fasteners that are deep inside. It's just the top two. And then the door comes right down. I'm gonna lean that up there and put my screws inside one of the channels of the door. And now we have the four screws, two on the top, two on the bottom, to get this headlight lens out. No! No. All right, that's something you don't want to do. You don't want to drop the bolt or screw behind this lens. Then you're going to have to take this out to get to it. Or if you could get a magnet in there, you won't need to remove it. No biggie. Uh, no biggie. So this headlight is loose. And let's pull it free. All right, yours may be a little different. I have the HID conversion bulbs in here. Um, they just clip into this lens. All right, so I'm going to remove my lens and pull out my connection for my LEDs. Um, the standard XJ lens has uh, the little plug right here. It's a factory plug. It's got the three little prongs connected to a wire. You should be able to pull it out right about here, and then you can disconnect it. But this is out. Let's take it to the bench. All right, guys, here's the lens on the bench, and uh, you can see there is a decent amount of water in there. And uh, here we have a standard two-ounce shot glass. It's a little mini mug. So... Let's go, I'm gonna see how much we uh, could fill up in here. All right. Well, let's see. That's probably about an ounce of water, which is not a lot of water, but it is way too much water to be inside a headlight. So we are gonna dump this out and uh, dry up the headlight. There we go. We're gonna water the azaleas. <laughs> all right, so I got my lens. Most of the water is out. You can definitely see all the droplets on the lens itself. Now I'm gonna heat it up with a heat gun and hopefully all this water in here will evaporate. Um, this guys, this is a glass lens. This is not a plastic lens. So disclaimer, <laughs> if you're gonna use a heat gun, make sure it's on your glass and not plastic. You will melt your plastic lens. Uh, don't say I didn't warn you. I don't want you to melt your lenses. Be very careful. Verify that it's glass. So uh, glass only, and we're gonna heat this up. It's gonna go, uh, gonna go high. All right, guys, it uh, took about a half an hour, but uh, I kept wiggling the light, getting the water droplets to try to roll on out the back. Uh, I kept moving the light and moving the heat, um, trying not to melt this plastic part. Uh, it did get rather hot, but 
cooked off the moisture and uh, it's nice and warm and dry in here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and grab some caulk and I'm going to seal this little bead, this little gap between the plastic and the glass. Alright, so I found this flexible uh, silicone sealant. It's clear, it's flexible. Gutters, windows, doors. It should work perfect for the lights. So I'm going to try to open this thing up and we will apply it. Let's see, I'm gonna have to nip this tip. I take your little thing, see? I put it into this little hole here and nip the tip. Oh. All right, here we go. It's just a tiny little crack between the glass and the body of this light. So I'm gonna go ahead and seal it. There is a top to this, so top. So I'm just gonna work right along the edge of the top. on the sides too. And there's a vent back here. I'm gonna open this up. So if there's any moisture in here, I'll be able to breathe out. All right, cool. I'm just gonna wait about 15 minutes for this to set up and then we'll install it back in the vehicle. All right, it is time to reinstall them. First thing I'm gonna do is plug in my LED accent lights. Awesome. Now I'm going to tuck this back in here. Now I'm going to plug in my HID. And this lens has a rubber boot that you slide over top. And what I did was I wrapped it with electric tape so it's nice and tight. Makes a good seal. All right, we're going to push it all back in. Okay, and before we button everything back up, we are just going to test it to make sure all the lights work. All right, it works. So we're just gonna push this all back in here. All right, good. That squishes in there nicely. And I'm gonna take my little bezel. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a screw in here, right on the top. And I'm gonna line it up with my finger and push that screw right about where it needs to go. Then I'm coming back through with my screw gun. Zipping that bad boy right in. So, the last part of the puzzle, which this is a very easy puzzle by the way, put in these two tabs on the bottom, and then you just screw in the top. And I said it before, I'll say it again guys, if you need to find a new headlight door on eBay, make sure you buy one with pictures that shows the two tabs intact because I got burned before. You do not want to buy a bezel with missing tabs. It'll just be flapping around. You don't want your bezel dangling. I got a whole bunch of bezels and they're just them dangly ones. It's a whole shoebox full of mutt dangly ones. Well, all right guys, there you have it. We got our headlight, it's back in and it's nice and dry. Uh, let's double check this thing, make sure the lights still work. All right, guys, that's going to do it for my headlight dry out video. Uh, these things are pretty saturated. They're bone dry now. Uh, I'm going to take this Jeep for a little ride. I'm going to keep the headlights on and it will continue to dry them out inside. Um, I know you guys have been telling me to get rid of these cheapo headlights and upgrade them. I would love to. Uh, I really like the way the heat from these bulbs dries out and melts the snow and ice that accumulate in the winter. We're about that time and the season. So, um, I will switch these out if anybody wants to donate some awesome uh, truck light LEDs or whatever product, any company that wants to send <laughs> their product my way, I'll be happy to put them in here and uh, give them a good honest review. Um, thank you guys for buying my stickers. Thank you for all your support. Um, there's still some for sale if you want to hit me up 
uh, I'll let you know how to purchase them. And uh, yeah, that's it, man. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next project. Peace.